All right, it's finally time that I've created this video. I've gotten a lot of questions and compliments on my graphical settings for Dead by Daylight. And I'm like, you know what? It's about time that I create this video and show you guys the exact settings that I use. This is only for people on PC and uh, it's strictly for people who have Nvidia graphics cards. But keep in mind, the filters that I use are from Reshade. So if you do use Reshade, I believe you could just copy the same exact settings that I use and apply it there, okay? So I just wanna give a huge shout out to Dowsey. He posted a video last year called best nvidia freestyle settings for dead by daylight and i pretty much watched this video and he goes step by step in how to download the geforce overlay and how to get the filters and apply them into the nvidia folder so that you could get the filters on geforce so if you haven't done those steps i would definitely suggest you to check out that video and follow it step by step dowsey does show the graphical settings that he uses so uh if you do like his style definitely definitely try it out i'm going to leave a card in the top part of the screen so that you guys can click it and it's gonna take you straight into Dowsey's video. I'm also gonna leave a link in the description as well. So please go and check that video out because it's gonna show you how to set up everything step by step. Like I said earlier, he also shows the filters that he uses, but the only difference between his and mine is that I kind of tweaked some different settings as well as I used just a couple more filters. So for those of you who wanted to see my exact settings, I'll show you them right now. So let's get into it. So we are now on Dead by Daylight and what I'm going to do now is click Alt Z. This is the button combination that opens a GeForce overlay for me. Okay, so if you have different ones, press it open up the GeForce experience overlay. And what we're gonna do next is go into game filter. Okay, so for brightness and contrast, I have the exposure set to 5%. The contrast is set to negative 3%. Highlights is set to 21%. The shadows and gamma are set to 0%. For the next filter, we have sharpen. Make sure it's not sharpen plus. And for sharpen, we're gonna set that to 15%. So this is gonna increase the detail of the game the grass the scratch marks are going to be more detailed everything is just going to look a lot more cleaner and it just brings more clarity to dead by daylight and for the uh, ignore film grain what we're going to do is set that to 15 percent so i find if you set your uh, sharpen too much you might get a bit of graininess in the way your game looks for the next filter we got curves and we want to make sure the mode is set to luma the formula is a uh, simplified cat mode rom 0011 i don't know what that means but uh yeah this is what it's on make sure contrast is set to zero for the next filter we got colorfulness and this is a very important filter to make your game stand out and look bright and bring some vibrance and colorfulness. It makes everything look so good. And I find this helps a lot with seeing scratch marks as well. Scratch marks are going to be much more visible for you. So it's gonna be easier to track survivors, okay? Let's click on colorfulness and I have my colorfulness set to 1.5 Lima underscore luma is set to 0.58 i have the enable dither i think that's how you say it that's off and the call noise is on and the back buffer bits is set to eight i tweaked a bit with the colorfulness i tried two out for a bit i find that on certain maps like cold wind farm and dead dog saloon it makes it so bright so i kind of toned it down to 1.5 this is the number that i like the most but if you want it more colorful feel free to bump it up all the way to two if you want all right for the next filter we got bloom you want to make sure for i bloom mix mode that screen lighten opacity is set on make sure f bloom threshold is set to 0.52 f bloom amount is set to zero f bloom saturation is set to 0.8 and for f bloom tint for color red we want it set to 0.699 green make sure it's set to 0 0.8 blue 0 0.8 as well for b lens dirt enable make sure that is clicked on 
For Islands Dirt Mix Mode, make sure it's set to Screen Add. For F Lens Dirt Intensity, make sure that's set to 0.26. For F Lens Dirt Saturation, make sure that's set to 1.6. For F Lens Dirt Tint, red, green, and blue are all set to 1. And I believe the rest are all by default. I don't remember exactly, but I'm just going to scroll down so that you guys could see input everything that I have here accordingly. Okay. So that's it for bloom. Let's get into the next filter, which is called ambient light. And we're going to make sure I'll debug is off. Make sure I'll, I think that's how you pronounce it is set to 0.1. The owl threshold is set to 0.1. 6, 8. Make sure the Al Adaption is ticked on and the Al Adapt is set to 4. And also, I believe the rest are default as well. So if not, just look at my settings and pretty much just copy them. And last but not least, we got Adaptive Sharpen. So Adaptive Sharpen is going to bring out even more detail into the game and make it look much much more amazing so let's get into adaptive sharpen and i just have the sharpening strength set all the way at max to two okay so this is just gonna bring out even more detail in the game there's also a very 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 important thing that i want you guys to uh, keep in mind i also have my graphic settings on dead by daylight set to low i find that when i use low the game is a much more brighter and i don't know i just love low it also takes the load off of your pc so you can get better performance and it makes your game look really good as well but uh feel free to up it up to medium high ultra if you want but I use low, okay? So every once in a while, you're gonna get some errors on some of your filters and they won't be able to open, okay? So they'll get deleted from your filters list. What you wanna do is go to the reshade filter website. This is where I downloaded the filters in order to put into Dead by Daylight. So I'm gonna leave a link to the reshade filters in the description box as well and please guys do favorite this website so that when you have this issue you could quickly find a website and get your filters back in order to get the filters back what i do is i click code i click download zip and when it downloads i open the file and you click reshade shaders nvidia click shaders and textures and what you're gonna do is just select every single filter copy it find nvidia corporation and then you're gonna go into Ansel. And what you're gonna do is just paste the filters in there. And it's gonna ask you if you wanna replace the files in this destination and you wanna click that, okay? So when it replaces the files, it's gonna um, say you'll need to provide an administrator permission to copy to this folder. And then you wanna check that and click continue. And then this should work. So when you go back into Dead by Daylight, the filters won't be there, but you're just going to click on the filters that are missing. Sometimes two filters might get missing, sometimes three. So you just want to find those specific filters and put them back into your filter layout. Okay. And you won't have to change the settings again because it does save, which is good. But uh, that was what worked for me. I know a lot of people had uh, issues with the NVIDIA filters sometimes fail and sometimes they get an error on them so yeah so that's it for the video i hope you guys enjoyed if you're new to my channel definitely hit that subscribe button and the bell notification but uh yeah that's it for the video i will see you guys in the next one